Hi there, my name is Christina Katz Doherty, and I'm the current tuba student here at Curtis. I study with Craig Knox of the Pittsburgh Symphony and Paul Krzywicki, uh, who is formerly the principal tubist of the Philadelphia Orchestra. I'm currently in my second year of graduate studies here at Curtis after previously completing my bachelor's at the Colburn School in Los Angeles, California. Now I'm really excited to share this piece with you tonight. This is actually my very first virtual collaboration that I've done with a pianist since the COVID pandemic began. And I couldn't be more excited to be working with Michelle Kahn on this collaboration. Uh, I'll give you just a little bit of an inside look into how we did it. I sent her my part, uh, just playing it alone. And then she crafted a beautiful musical accompaniment to my part. And then it was my job to record my part over her accompaniment, uh, trying to match all the musical idiosyncrasies that we agreed upon and give you guys a product that uh, was musically satisfying for your Friday night. So I hope we succeeded in doing so, and I hope you will enjoy Alexei Lebedev's Concerto in One Movement for tuba or bass trombone. Alexei Lebedev is a Russian composer. Um, he was a tubist and a pedagogue, and he worked at the Tchaikovsky Conservatory, so much of his music was crafted with his students in mind. And that is one of the reasons why this particular piece is a seminal work in the canon for bass trombonists and tubists. You would be hard pressed to find any bass trombonist or tubist who has not worked on this piece before. I hope you enjoy and thanks so much for watching. Oh, 
and I'm from Hong Kong. I'm 15 and I'm studying violin with Attica Fafian at the Curtis Institute of Music. I will be playing Bach's Party to Number 1 in B minor and I think Bach is pretty challenging for me and I'm happy to be able to explore more in Bach during this pandemic. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. 
from Sydney, Australia. I'm Elizabeth Yunan and I'm currently in my third year at the Curtis Institute of Music where I study composition. You are about to hear my Curtis colleague and dear friend Beatrice Chen perform my Fantasia for solo viola, but first a few words about the piece. It is the first of a suite of Fantasias that I'm writing for different instruments, one for flute, another one for harp in the works, and each of these pieces take a short theme which then unfolds and unravels, all the while showing the many characteristics and colours of the instruments. This Fantasia for solo viola was composed in mid-2019 for the Lake Champlain Chamber Music Festival in Burlington, Vermont. I have always loved the viola, its dark, rich tone qualities, its ability to change from anguish to joy within a single utterance, from harsh and guttural to sweet and ethereal, and it is precisely these contrasts that I have imbued throughout my work. Of course, there is nothing inherently revolutionary about the concept of a fantasia. Composers in the Western classical music tradition have been writing them for hundreds of years, just as we continue today to write piano sonatas and concerti but I still think that the form has relevance and freedom, and so I hope that you will take a moment to listen to my own musical voice in a fantasia, and, as always, I hope that the work will speak to you on a deeply personal and visceral level. My sincerest thanks to Beatrice Chen. Thank you. 
everyone. My name is Haram Kim from Seoul, Korea, and I am a fifth year student at Curtis Institute of Music. The first piece of the program that I'll be playing is A Paganini, a solo violin piece composed by Alfred Schnick. As a Russian, was he an iconic composer, created his mentality and many referential inspirational words by previous composers into a complete set of his own style, which goes the same with the piece we're going to hear in a moment. The title would give us a hint to predict that Schnicke's Apeganini must be related to the great virtuoso violinist Niccolo Paganini. There are fragments of Paganini caprices in the piece, and I recall one of my friends saying about this piece that is this a scene where Schnicke having an interview with Paganini? Perhaps it was, and even for me, when I recorded this piece, there was an illusion in front of me as if I was having an interview with Paganini. And that experience was actually terrifying, yet very, very magical. So throughout the whole process, it was a great challenge for me to reset my thinking. A total understanding of the composer's will really accept and really allow theirs to become mine as a whole. This would be a very shocking piece in a sense, but I really hope you would enjoy and find it as an interesting work of art. Thank you.
Hi everyone, my name is Insa Lee, I'm 19 years old, and I'm currently studying violin at Curtis Institute of Music with Ida Kafafian. I'm originally from South Korea, and I moved to Philadelphia three years ago to study at the Curtis. It's an honor to be one of the performers of this project and really glad that I can share music and communicate with amazing people and students. When I heard about this project, I was really excited and happy because I didn't expect that it would actually happen and still I feel I'm dreaming about this because it's really hard to communicate and share things with people in this situation. Now I realize how precious it was performing on the stage and sharing with audiences. So I'm really glad that I can share music and communicate with all of you guys in here. So today I'm going to play Paganiniana, which is written by Nathan Milstein. The reason why I choose this piece is because one of the students played this piece in the studio class last semester. After the person played, I realized that I would love to learn this piece. So Milstein studied violin with Strzebski and Izai, and also the teacher of renowned violinist David Oistra. One of his best known compositions is Paganiniana, which I'm playing today. It's a set of variations of various themes from the works of Niccolo Paganini. I'm pretty sure that everyone will notice when you guys hear Paganini Capris number 24 at the very beginning of theme sections. It's really familiar, and as you may know, this caprice has 11 variations, but Milstein rewrote a few variations with different styles and technique. I hope you guys enjoy it. It's really sad that I only could share music through the video, but anyways, someday I would love to share music all of you all in person. Hope you guys stay safe and healthy. Thank you, and enjoy it.